What is everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more CSGO news here at Esports Talk. One cheater out there has been causing issues across the ESEA platform as being used for qualifiers throughout several tournaments out there. If you guys do not know, Face It alongside ESEA, two separate third-party services are frequently used for qualifiers for some off events throughout the year of CSGO. During these crowded events, a lot of DreamHack events as well do use ESEA servers. A lot of players out there do cheat during those same qualifiers on those same servers as well, and especially when these Face It bans do not cross over to ESCA. We have this issue repeatedly, especially over the past month. Multiple instances in the past 30 days alone about cheaters on ESCA and during these qualifiers really ruining chances for a lot of teams out there, and it continues to be a very large issue. We stretch back where I covered this just a few weeks ago. It was actually Dennis alongside Gamer Legion, a DreamHack Malmo qualifiers, guys. Very early on, they played against a team who luckily seemingly threw those matches, guys, after being called out, where yes, they were playing against a roster of five men, three of which had face it bans for cheating although yes because they were on ESCA servers there's no cross-platform bans across these third-party services and they were allowed to play now the issue does not lie in the fact these players did not cheat that time but they could have cheated against other teams out there and if you guys have followed these minor qualifiers these little qualifiers out there throughout time many times dur during early rounds if you are cheated against and you lose to a cheater if they're caught later on you don't get to replay those matches so these cheaters these teams that cheat uh, during these uh, uh, lower levels of qualifiers can really screw over rosters who have an eventual chance to qualify by cheating against them early on because you don't get a replay. Like I said before, once you are caught later on, you don't get to go back and, and get those matches granted back to you. Generally what happens is if you lose to a cheating team early on, you're done. You don't get a replay. Apex members also complaining about this, guys. Also, again, called out by Dennis and the Gamer Legion roster as well, as we actually have recordings of homies. The same guy we talked about a minute ago in those DreamHack Malmo qualifiers for that team who decided to throw those games, but was alleged of cheating and also had those face it bans. One of those same players, that being homies, alongside others, actually had recorded audio of him buying cheats. Audio which directly said he was buying these cheats and they still had to play against him. Even further, guys, yet, or, yet again called out by Dennis and Gamer Legion. Other pro players now stepping in and saying, ESCA, you know, pick it up. What are you doing? Again, Homies was playing against uh, some teams out there in some recent qualifiers on ESCA servers, except this time the very worst. They were actually using their cheats. Tu as testé la méta du nouveau Call of Duty. Tu me demandes si je suis un gros casu, non? Non, je suis pas un gros casu. Par contre, c'est un one tap, non? Tu as testé la méta du nouveau Call of Duty. Tu me demandes si je suis un gros casu, non? Non, je suis pas un gros casu. Par contre, c'est un one tap, non? And ever since then, multiple pro players have taken about this. Vitality's Alex talking about similar situations on ESCA servers. Simple saying similar situations on ESCA servers. And it's now a very prevalent fact out there that during these lower qualifiers on ESCA servers, well, yes, your run can be potentially ruined by cheaters. And it's a very, very big issue. Needs public addressing. I'm sure ESCA is hopefully going to get on this, especially because we've now had a lot of pro players talking about it, a lot of pro players experiencing difficulties with it. Alongside that, even recently, guys, we actually have a dream. DreamHack Rotterdam uh, qualifier as well. Another pro player known as Holmes, he talked about this. They actually managed to beat Gambit Youngsters in an opening round. Went on to play a very suspicious team. Teams with private profiles, suspicious activity, lower level accounts, but obviously some very skilled players, and they forfeited those matches. They're not going to put up with cheaters out there. So yes, they take down one of your better rising CIS teams. They face against some suspicious teams out there who they're pretty much forced to forfeit to because seemingly uh, they weren't going to win those matches against these suspicious suspicious accounts that were allowed to actually compete in these ESA qualifiers. So, you know, with all of this being said, it seems quite obvious there are some underlying issues with the earlier qualifiers and the fact that the main the main point being these cheaters are allowed to play on both Face It or ESCA intermittently, whichever one they have not been caught on. And so are we ever going to have these cross-platform bans be, be applied? It's very unlikely, right? It would obviously hurt ESCA business to ban the Face It people who have been banned on Face It on the ESCA platform, but at some certain level some sort of investigation has to be done some sort of at least searching of these players who are at least signed up for these qualifiers has to be done some background needs to be done so these things are not happening because we can only imagine right if this one player homies is now finally being caught cheating against or at least you know being suspicious against multiple teams out there if it's taking all of these pro players calling out this one guy to get caught what's it taking for all these other players who have been cheating to, to get caught as well there are probably so many cases out there so many teams who have 
have lost their runs in these qualifiers for these off events because of cheating teams that have yet to even be brought to light. And so it's certainly an underlying issue, certainly an issue still going on in CSGO and especially on ESCA. So at the end of the day, we can only hope that ESCA does respond, guys. At the point of me recording, there is no response yet. I will be checking their Twitter and updating you guys on this as well. Several pro, pro players now have talked about this. ESCA certainly has some issues with cheaters. And it's even worse though, right? Obviously, I'm not going to fully blame ESCA. Background has to be done about this, but it's it's a widely used uh, platform in itself. But also, a lot of the blame has to go on these degenerates that are, of course, trolling at this point in time. Holmes is now being mentioned all across Twitter for his cheating against these uh, against these teams in ESCA qualifiers. And now it seems these guys are going around as a joke, trying to ruin people's chances at real life earnings and at real life job opportunities as well. And it's kind of disgusting to realize that cheaters are just out there for a joke and a laugh, and they're ruining people's actual chances at potential careers um, at the very extreme end of the of these of these things. But hopefully something will be done soon. As always, my name is Jake, breaking down esports and gaming news here every single day. Thank you all for watching. If you guys want to spread the word, more CSGO news and other esports news is certainly on the way as crazy things do continue to happen all across the scene. Until next time, I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Take care of yourselves.